let's just jump right in. The name of the store is so cute. It's 11happy.com. It's so cute. I love the name of the store. So I picked out um, five cute things to share with you today. So we are just going to jump right in. Say hello to Elsa. Elsa. My little ghost kitty. Look how cute. Isn't she cute? She's been beat up a little bit. Mm, isn't she funny? And then she has her little trick-or-treat bag. And her has little fish skeletons. I bought the mold special for that for this project. A little ridiculous, ain't I? Anyway, alright, so moving on. Back to why you are here. So first of all, we have this super cool mandala-ish design. I love these. These are the ones that come with the different size rhinestones. So as you can see, it is two kitties looking at the moon. So cool. I love it. And as you can probably guess, it's going to be blues and greens. And like I said, this is all rhinestones. <clears throat> That's why the uh, keypad was up. Like I was, or the my recent calls was up. Like someone had just called me. Creepy. Okay, so we have two sizes of green. We have two bags of this. Which looks like a lot for the area that it goes on, but they know what they're doing, right? And, oh wait, we have two bags of that one too. No? No. So there we have four, three, sorry, I keep goofing off, screwing up here. So we have a darker green and then two lighter greens. Hmm? I already did. Have a seat, get started. So we have two bags of just plain clear black, regular black drills. Then we have dark blue, light blue, and two shades of purple. This is going to be so pretty. There's two shades of green that match our bigger ones that I showed you first. And then here we have our bigger shades of purple, our bigger size of purple, the two shades. Two shade. Then we have a little bit bigger of a crystal. Beautiful crystal stars. Then there are our bigger stones in purple, two sizes of light blue. There's our dark blue again and our light green. And another dark blue with a bunch of light ones mixed in. <laughs> and then another shade of green. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. So this is going to be a really, really cool one. Now, I consider these full drills because pretty much the entire canvas is covered. So you can see here the star shape is going to go here. And then we have our colors radiating out, which is so cool. Really, really cool. I should do the moon and glow in the dark instead of crystal. That would be neat. Very cool. I like it. So stoked about that one. All right, so let's get our drills put away so they don't get lost. Bear with the crinkling. We have four across. Oh, that's why they did that like that because the packaging is weird. Okay. Anyway, let's get them back in the container, Margie. It doesn't matter. As long as they fit. So we have the purple metallic packaging on these, if you didn't notice. If you haven't seen the purple packaging in a while, but as you can see, it's just the item number on the canvas and then the code number there. So it is plain, which with the rhinestones, you really don't need anything else. Next, I will show you 
this one. No, we'll do this one. <laughs> so this next one is a special drill again. We have our standard toolkit. We have, oh, look at that. You definitely can see that. That's awesome. We need to all be like that. I love that. Fabulous font. Nice and crisp. Here is our canvas. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Little kitties on a fence. Again, checking out. Well, they could be checking out a sunset, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be the moon, but it most likely is. Isn't that cute? I love it. Absolutely adorable. So this one, as you can see, is special drill. Or maybe is it just rhinestone? Oh, there's a couple of different ones than regular rhinestones. And opening is nine different colors on this one. There were 22 different stones on the, uh, the first one I showed you. 22 different ones of just blue and green. <laughs> And black and crystal, but anyway. All right, so we here we have our orange, larger um, AB, which I think is the only one. And all the rest are regular rhinestones, looks like. Okay, so here we have pink, yellow, and purple. We have two bags of brown for the fence, which is so awesome. Two shades of blue. And then green and crystal. Very cute. Love the brown stones are there. Love my brown rhinestones. I guess because they're just rare. I, wish, I just wish they would do the black. If they can do the brown like this, why can't they do the black like this? Just do it, you know, extra... Pigmented? I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to see how they make these circle. Cool. Be there and you know, watch the machine create all the rhinestones. Oh, I got my fix. Next, we have, not kitties, standard toolkit. But it is special drill. I know I went a little overboard on the special drills on this one, but I couldn't help it. They were too cute. I had to have them. So here is our gorgeous owl. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I'll have to show you the blanket I finished last night or the night before. Isn't she pretty? Really, really like this one a lot. Super cute. Okay, so let's take a look at our special drills on this one. There are th uh, 14 different stones on this piece. Jumping right in. This is, oh, I love that print, man. That is awesome. So crisp and clear and easy to read. I love it. Okay, so we'll start with our special stones. We have large yellow. Then we have blue and purple marquee. Purple looks like it might be AB. Yes, the purple is AB. Then we have two bags of black AB. I don't really call these AB. These are more like oil slick to me because they're mainly blue. And in my opinion, the AB is multiple colors. If you can see... AB is kind of like an iridescent, where to me this one is just blue. It's not really iridescent, it just sh uh, shines blue. Then we have some pearls. Yes, these are pearls with some pink ones playing around in there. Beautiful, huge bag of pink for our pink owl. Some champagne and bright green. Light blue, and then we have a lighter pink beautiful corally color isn't that pretty that's a really pretty color and then we have dark blue and a lighter blue and then a bright yellow very very cool i am thrilled 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> I really love that printing on the package. It's the little things that make me happy. Uh, it just, it just, labeling is like this thing that has always appealed to me. And I guess it's just my OCD shining through. Everything likes to be labeled and all that fun stuff. Okay, next, I'm going to save the lap back for last because it is the most exciting in my opinion. So this next one is absolutely stunning. And it is my on my top of my bucket list to actually be in person and observe one of these amazing creatures. It's a little hard to see. It probably should be at least a 40 by 40, if not a 50 by 50. But I'm hoping that once I get the drills on there, it will bring it to life. But this is a gorgeous sea turtle. I'm not very well versed in the different species of sea turtles, but I'm guessing this is a green sea turtle because it is got the more rounded shell. I just think they're awesome. So 22 colors, and this is a regular drill. We have our regular toolkit. Um, the thing with sea turtles that are so awesome is they come back to the same beach that they were born on to lay their eggs and do the whole cycle all over again. And I just think that is just incredible because they, once they come out of their shell and make it to the water, they don't stop swimming until they come back to the beach to lay their eggs and they go back out and swim some more. It's just, it's incredible to me. All right, so as you can see, this is a mainly green painting. Lots of teal and blue and green, and I am loving all the different shades that are in this painting, and I can't wait to show you. So, wanna see? So there's 22 different colors. So I'm just gonna show you, instead of naming teal, turquoise, teal, turquoise, blue, green. I'm just gonna let you look, because as you can see, by the canvas, there's a lot of different shades. So there we go. There's those. And those. Look at those. Love that green, that's a cool green. A little bit of brown or black and gray there. Oh, these pretty colors. Really pretty. I love that light green. So pretty. Mint green, really. Turquoise. Beautiful teals. I love it. All right, so that is that. And the DMC codes are on the canvas. They are not on the packaging, but they are on the canvas, which is a huge plus for those of you that are saving your drills. I have moved past saving drills. And although I, I, I have not started throwing them away yet, but I am not putting them in label packages. I am going to start doing other projects with them. So I have not gotten to that yet. I still have, if you can, I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah. See that butterfly? Well, you probably can't tell it's a butterfly right where my fingernail is right there. There is a, um, it's one of those wood pieces and I have got the base coat on it. I've got, um, blank canvas onto, it's one of those like mail tray things that you can like hang by your door and like dump your mail in or whatever. But I have a piece of blank canvas attached to it and I have the pattern that I want to put on it, just have to actually do it. But me and my ADD brain have too many things going and I can't focus on it. So it's still there. It's prepped. I know what it's going to go on it, but I just got to get it. Ugh. All right, so this last piece is super exciting for me because 
going back to the whole organizational brain of mine and labeling and storage, I am hooked on reusable bags. And I will not tell you how many I have. And uh, we're not going to talk about it. So anyway, so we have extra bags here for us in this toolkit. This is a mixed piece. You have special stones and regular drills going on here. You ready? Look at it. Isn't she stunning? Can't wait to get her done. Now here's the best part. This is not just one of those little teeny tiny, oh, you can stick a book in this bag. This is a decent size bag that you can actually carry stuff in. This will be perfect for um, my little amigurumi projects that don't take up much space. I can dump my three or four um, skeins of yarn in here, my hooks, and I can carry this around and be like, look at that. Look how cool that is. It's so cool. So I'm really happy with this. Really happy. Plus, the if you can see, let me see if I can get it. There we go. The print is glitter. It's like a hollow graphic background. Let me take the plastic off. It's driving me crazy. I don't know if that's going to make it better or worse. On this side. Sorry for my head poking around, but I'm trying to get to the right angle where you can see the shimmer on the, the I keep saying canvas, on the piece. You, know, you can't really see it. And I know it's silly to get excited about that because um, it's not going to show when the drills are on there. But I also want you to look at the <clears throat> the way this bag is printed as along with the adhesive. The adhesive is not overlapping in an excessive amount. So once you get the drills on this bag, it's not going to have a bunch of sticky left over like some of the um, acrylic pieces do. So I would still suggest using like a spray sealer just quickly over the drills just to kind of help them stay in place. But you're not going to have to worry about fuzz and funk sticking to your bag. Oh, I knew that was the wrong side. I hate when I do that. Okay. But anyway, this is a really, really nice. Because when I first saw these, I was like, oh, it's probably going to be one of those cheap, crappy bags. But it's not. It's nice. And it's done very well. I'm very pleased with this. This could would be something that would work for a shirt, honestly. I don't know how you would wash it. Maybe just hang it up and air dry and like Febreze it. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this piece and can't wait to get it done. All right, so let's get into what kind of stones we have for this piece. So like I said, it's regular drills and special stones. So we'll start with the bag, or the, um, the, this, this, the snake. <laughs> so we have a beautiful pale blue and butter yellow along with white. Then we have our blue pearls with that AB coating. See how they're more, they shine other colors than just blue. To me, that's the true AB coating. The other is just like an iridescent coating. So then we have red and orange. Then here we have pink and like a champagne-y green kind of color. Teardrops. So these are the leaves and flower stems, or flower petals, that go around the owl. And so the majority of the owl is going to be regular drills. It looks like. So then we have some larger size pearls. Here's some more of the petals and leaves. So this is, let's see, eight, 11. Is this 11? Yes. Yeah. So this and that yellowish green are the leaves. And then, of course, the pink is the flower petals. Ooh, 
We have yellow pearls for the flower centers, which is really awesome. And then we have some baby marquee to scatter throughout. Super cool. I'm very happy with this. Had to finish it or had to do it so there you have the finished bag and of course i have to lint roll it still because no matter how hard i try there will be cat hair and there's actually one of my hairs on there <laughs> so here is our awesome owl and you can still see the sparkle on the um adhesive as well as the drills sparkling look at Shima, so beautiful. So now I'm going to go spray it with a quick, just a quick zap of glossy spray paint after I get all the cat hairs off because there is just a little, little bit of the adhesive that is still um, exposed. So I will just go zap, 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 real quick with the clear spray and she will be ready to use. I almost want to use it as a purse. I love it so much. It's really cool. When I've, I started, I, I have this weird habit of when I do special drills, I start from the last one and move forward. Usually I've found that like the first five have the most and then the ones closer to the back have the least. So I kind of like, I don't know if it's actually true, but that's what my brain tells me. So that's what I do. So as I was doing the outer leaves and petals, I said to Emily, I said, maybe I should switch to do all rhinestones instead of having regular drills. And she says, no, I think it'll make the owl pop better if you leave it the way it is. I have a smart kid. So I'm glad I listened and followed what they gave me. I know the glare is still bad on this, but if I turn the light off, it's even worse. So anyway, there you have it. The bag is ready to go and I will be using it. So I will give you updates periodically as to how it's holding up. But I think you should go buy some of these because even if you don't use them for yourselves, do these up and use these as your Christmas gift bags because then the person can use this all year long and it's not another bag going into the garbage. Um, yeah, so I think that is a fabulous idea and I think I might be doing that this year because I think that's an, that's an awesome idea because there are so many cute reusable bags out there, but to have something that you've actually done work on yourself and then giving a gift inside of it, as well as this being the gift, I'm one of those people that would greatly appreciate it. So there you have it. And I know a lot of people are trying to go more green. So not using a paper, wrapping paper or um, a paper bag that's just gonna go in the trash. Cause I know a lot of people don't reuse those. I save them and reuse them when I can, but I really like the idea of giving a gift in a bag that can be used all year long because that just adds to the gift. Anyway. I will hush and I will end this video and I will go pick the few cat hairs I keep seeing. It's Elsa. It's all Elsa because she's always on this flipping table. Dang cat. Oh well, I guess I'll be carrying some of her with me as well. See you real soon. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you will go check them out and purchase yourself some.